The second thing is, if you see, Sangabai is pretty strong in Americas and Asia. If you just put together these two, we are talking of 40% of the sales is coming from this just two zones. And countries like India is booming. We have 60% organic growth in the first half in India. And in India, Sangaba is an absolutely undisputed leader and in every single terms. So you have many such good success stories, which is helping us to do. And I know it's, it's, a, it's your right when you take up at high inflation, high interest, this is having some amount of impact. And I see that some little bit of a concerns in the new construction, but renovation is very robust with a very huge backlog. And what, what about the impact of then inflation on those raw material costs for you as a business? Uh, it is uh, there. I think, again, where now that we are organized by country, we have been extremely effective in passing on this inflation to the customers. If you look at the inflation we are talking about is $3 billion for this 2022. And the first half price increase, what we have secured, it actually is ensuring that we are able to pass on this inflation. Again, the pricing is not the dynamics of just pushing the prices top down, but trying to understand the customer needs, being very close to the customer, providing the service, which is differentiated, helping the customer, because today the customer is going through also a difficult, challenging supply chain issues. And that's where I think Sangabam brings the differentiation by serving them in the best possible manner. Now, of course, high energy costs is one of those other key issues dogging not only the consumer, but businesses based in Europe like yours. We've heard stories about how you've been hedging your energy costs in Europe in previous quarters. What's the strategy now? Yeah, so hedging is, has been extremely effective. This, we have been proactive and making a opportunistic move on a time-to-time -time basis. If you look at the hedging, what we have for 2022, we have 80% of our energy costs is hedged, which is actually helping us in a big way to not have a huge volatile impact on our results. Second, next year, we are already hedged at 60, and close to half of this hedging was done before the price increase started kicking in last year in September and October. So we are in a good position while we all recognize that the energy is a, one of the area where we need to remain extremely vigilant. Hi, I'm Joanna Bersacci and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.